It's the company you complain to us about the most. They promise fresh flowers, but deliver duds. 1,000 complaints and counting. Well, it is time to confront the florist. Can you tell us how fresh these fresh flowers are? Sorry, I don't know interviews. They look like something you'd find in the bin at a cemetery. We've had complaints from over a thousand consumers about Bloomex. Roses are red, violets are blue. These flowers are too good to be true. How do we put a stop to them once and for all? Stop using them. Paul, I'm going to start with you. What was your experience with Bloomex like? Yeah, so my dad had passed. So my, my dad um, has been fighting cancer for like the last three and a bit years. So I wanted to get the flowers on behalf of my dad for my mum, so. Bloomex is one of a current affairs most complained about companies. Here's why. You spent $544, so I'm assuming you expected a big bouquet. Yeah, I was expecting a very large bouquet. The flowers looked like they were um, uh, a $15 bunch of flowers that were actually um, quite wilted and, and old. This is the stunning arrangement Paul paid for, and this is the sad selection that showed up at his mother's door. I break down crying, my mum was saying to me, don't worry, it's all right. Amy, you purchased an extra large bouquet of flowers for your mother-in-law just earlier this month. What went wrong? They didn't uh, get delivered till a week after her birthday and were something that would be dumped in the bin. It was just disgraceful and embarrassing. Amy says she paid $120 for this vibrant hamper. What she received was barely alive. Bloomex is a Canadian company operating in Australia and the United States. All orders are made online. The Australian arm will soon head to court after the ACCC accused the florist of using overseas customer ratings from 2015 and for advertising misleading discounts. We visited the Bloomex Western Sydney warehouse. Uh, a lot of customers have reached out to us, sending us photos of, of the uh, bouquets that they've been delivered. Would you be happy if you received this? Can you tell us where you source your flowers from? Sorry, I don't know interviews. What we found was that of the 21 orders that we placed that Bloomex accepted and took money for, in um, eight of those cases, they couldn't deliver. They came back to us days or um, days after we'd placed the order saying, we can't make this delivery, but if you give us more money, we can try and organise something through a local florist or we can send a hamper. Um, when we responded saying, no, we don't want that, we want flowers, they'd then try and fob us off with a credit. Choice Magazine's editorial director, Mark Rafferty. It's delivered in cases for regional Australia via Australia Post. So um, it's not going through any specialist um, delivery service and that's why we're seeing the delays and the, the problems with the, the flowers arriving in poor condition. Well, the flowers never turned up uh, at all on Valentine's Day. Nothing says romance like 12 long stem red roses, but Brett's bouquet was two days late, contained the wrong flowers that arrived in a mason jar without a card. Even Teddy looks disappointed. You managed to get a refund, which is pretty remarkable. How did you do that? They had to be returned within seven days um, back to the place of dispatch and the closest place for me was an hour and a half drive south, so I had to drive down there and drop them off and drive back. But you take money from customers and you deliver sorry. late no, no. and you don't, deliver very, you don't deliver what they've ordered. No, I'm sorry. Don't take any question. Why not? Sorry. Because I'm, I'm not planning to take any interview today. Mm. So have Can we make up. a time for tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Yeah, mm. sorry. It continues to breach our state's consumer laws and it continues to rip uh, consumers off. Fair Trading New South Wales Commissioner Natasha Mann says Bloomex can expect a knock on the door from her department. So we're looking to prosecute them for false and misleading advertising and we're also looking to prosecute them for uh, taking, taking people's money and not delivering goods. Oh, whatever you do, don't buy off Bloomex, ever.